How do average Americans seem to have inexhaustible funds? Lots of average Americans are struggling but choose not to put their business out there. Flaunters are more visible because they choose to display their wealth or make themselves appear wealthy by taking on debt. They don't. What they have is easy credit and huge debt. Your assumptions are simply not accurate when applied to Americans as a whole. You are just seeing it more because it's what you are looking for or for other reasons. Going down your list. Gourmet products. Most people don't get them or get like one or two as a treat. Electronics. Actually don't cost that much in the long run for how much people use them so it's an easy cost to justify. Also, credit cards and paying it off over time. Designer clothing. Again, most people aren't wearing designer clothing. Expensive restaurants. They are being slammed by people that can afford them. That doesn't prove most Americans do it. Just the ones that can afford it. Cars. Again. It's the people that can afford it buying them. There's also a bit of a supply problem. Airlines. Most people don't take one vacation a year. Let alone multiple. But lots of people do fly regularly. Sometimes for pleasure and often for work. Home cleaning and yard care are absolutely not a given in most households. It's also not as expensive as you probably think but it's very much not the norm. Expensive houses. Corporations and rich people buy them up quickly because the supply is low. Honestly I think this is more a reflection of the people you spend time around than anything else. You say you travel a lot for work. Guess what? The places you're traveling to probably aren't much different to where you are. Where you're not traveling is the other 99% of America. Average Americans don't have inexhaustible funds. It's called the illusion of excessive consumer debt. I feel like I must exist in some parallel universe when I see posts like this. Try taking two steps outside of a city. You'll find a few very visible McMansions. Usually professionals or trust fund kids. What you don't see is the abject squalor and poverty those houses are built upon. The idea that having professional home cleaning as standard now is laughable. Who do you think is doing the cleaning? Or do your cleaners have cleaners too? Who do you think is working in the restaurants? Pulling double shifts to feed their kids at home? How are people unaware that the great majority of Americans work harder? Longer? And for less reward than the rest of the developed world? American workers can't afford medicine. American workers can't afford to bury their dead with dignity. Op talks about vacations. What a joke. I've taken exactly one vacation in my life. And that was just a long weekend two states away. As if American workers have time off of work to travel? I've been working full-time plus for 30 years. I currently manage two jobs. And literally dumpster dive for stuff to resell on eBay. I've eaten out twice in the past six months. I drive a 20-year-old economy class car. I consider myself lucky if I can afford groceries at the end of the month. American workers struggle from paycheck to paycheck and are using their credit to pay rent. Not to buy expensive consumer items. I seriously don't understand how people are unaware of how disenfranchised, marginalized, and exploited the average American worker is. Lots of inaccurate stereotypes here. Your assumptions and conclusions you have drawn do not reflect the reality. The poor people are not at the same grocery store as you. They are not gleefully dumping gourmet items into their carts. There is high homelessness. Rents are increasingly unaffordable. Just because you can identify a 700k house that's sold does not generalize to everyone spending money. Wildly. Did you happen to look at historical foreclosure rates? Income growth VA inflation over the last 50 years or so. It sounds like you went to the grocery store a couple times. Best Buy. 
flipped through a real estate page for five minutes and the hopped on Reddit sounding like Grandpa. From The Simpsons. This is how I feel about Europeans. This sounds more like a screed against American society than an honest question. I have not seen that where I live. I'm struggling with food and gas. Everyone I know is griping about inflation. About 40% of Americans struggle to put food on the table. Sure you've traveled a lot. But when you went to a city, which parts of the city did you visit? What kind of people did you interact with? I reside in Seattle. People here have more money than most if you're shopping at a nicer part of town. You're gonna see wealth being flaunted. Like others have said credit card debt is a big thing. Another thing is that for two-thirds of Americans that own their home, almost everyone refinanced to a 34% rate. This didn't increase their income, but did gave them a couple hundred bucks a month in expenses, effectively increasing their monthly purchasing power. In addition to lower monthly payments, a lot of people took advantage of the increased house price and did a cash-out refinance, basically increasing their mortgage loan value, but getting a huge check in the mail for the difference. Another thing is people have different priorities but we only see the aggregate. In other words, there might be 100k people spending a ton on luxury vacations, and another 100k eating out 3x a day 7x a week. There's some overlap in those groups but the most part the middle part of the Venn diagram is kinda small. Nonetheless we see them as the same people eating out all the time and vacationing even though there's different people. Another is that certain fields have seen huge wage growth. For example I'm in consulting and have seen my salary grow 50% since 2020. That's not normal and is not what the AVG American has seen. Same goes for finance, tech, etc. But the biggest factor is that the people struggling? They are eating at home. You don't see that. They are driving to a state park and camping for a cheap vacation. You don't see that. They are staying in on a Friday night to save money. That isn't going on Instagram and you aren't seeing that. Basically you don't see people struggling cause they aren't flaunting it or doing things in public. But the big spenders stand out so you take note of that more often. There's a level of financial comfort that, regardless of inflation, you can afford anything at the grocery store. It's quite the tipping point. Some folks might have their significant others out there shopping for them and don't have the nerve to tell them they need to start paying attention to prices or even clipping coupons. Otherwise the corporations have run the numbers. If a rich person pays three times the cost of something then they didn't have to sell the other two. The other two a poor person might have bought. It's a war on the poor. Including the hard-working poor. Not that everybody doesn't deserve to eat. I mean you do live in a tech hub where salaries are high. One thing not being mentioned in this is wages. For all the issues with wage stagnation Americans simply have higher wages. Both in raw terms and relative to GDP. Than the average Western European. It's credit card debt. Now you all know the importance of basic statistics in high school education. There's a lot here not supported by evidence. Home sales are in the toilet both because people can't afford to buy and people can't afford to sell. Car sales are in the toilet because supply is severely limited and prices are outrageous. That said, if they weren't selling the supply they had, they would lower prices. Unemployment is very very low which means that most people who want them have jobs. Wages are also rising faster than they have in a long time. Of course, inflation offsets this but that's not unexpected. When people have more money, they want to spend more and that increases demand which increases prices. 
The other piece of this is that certain products are much cheaper than they used to be a generation ago due to supply chain and manufacturing modernization. Adjusted for inflation. Food. Clothing. Electronics. Certain types of home remodeling materials. Travel. And a number of other costs are down compared to decades ago. With all of that said, I'm pretty sure Europeans travel quite a bit. Take much more time off. Buy designer clothes. Etc. If they choose to do so. I could go on and on but a lot of the things that you're describing has luxuries or not luxuries anymore. And the things that are still luxuries are much less common than you seem to think they are. Can someone find me these fellow Americans who are having such a good time? Because nobody I know is living like this. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.